Mark Weens here in Bangkok, Thailand, and I am sitting down at a really awesome old school restaurant called Ran Phai Klom. And it's actually just down the road from uh, PTT, which is one of the, I think it's the biggest oil energy company, or maybe the oil company, energy company in Thailand. So this place is a big lunch restaurant, and actually there's a bunch of restaurants along this street this restaurant, I'm excited to eat here. The dishes have just arrived. The food looks absolutely awesome. I cannot wait to dig in. This one is called Padman Kung, which is, these are like shrimp, shrimp patties, deep fried. Dip it into the sweet, this is like a sweet, almost like a honey sauce. Mm. It kind of tastes like a big shrimp chicken nugget. And it is freshly fried, so it's nice and crispy on the outside. And that's almost like a like a sweet honey honey sauce. It's alright, but the the mushy texture is not my favorite. But it is good. It is good. This one is uh kana plakem, which is uh this green vegetable, which is kind of like uh, Chinese broccoli, and stir fried up with flavored with uh, salty, salty frit fish. Mm. That is awesome. Mm. That is one of my favorite styles of a of a stir fried vegetable. The fish makes it salty, and then it's fried along with. Lots and lots of garlic. I can actually taste the breath of the wok in that dish. So they must have fried it on a really high heat and had that oil at the perfect temperature before they threw in the, the vegetable. This one is called Tom Tong Pa Chon Tan. It's actually quite similar to, to Tom Yam. And you can see it's a clear soup uh, and then it's filled with mushrooms and herbs and then fried uh, snakehead fish, which is Pa Chon, a piece of fish. Get that chili, of course, too. Stick it onto my plate. Mm. And then chase it down with some of the soup. Mm. Oh yeah. That is prepared to specification right there. That's sour, that's spicy, the fish is still crispy. Mm. That, that extra um, fried chili is just extremely fragrant and just has that beautiful roasted, roasted fried chili flavor to it. And then there's herbs in there. I can taste the, the holy basil, krapao is in there as well. And then those mushrooms. This is a glorious soup indeed. Oh. This is the dish that I'm looking forward to most actually, which is the Bunim Pat Pik Tai Dam, which is soft shell crab, stir fried up with black pepper, and also a bunch of other glorious looking ingredients. So I'm gonna fish out a piece and get me some of that onions and kaffir lime leaves and ho 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 ho. Let's check out that glory of ingredients. The, the soft shell crab is fried, kaffir lime leaves, the peppercorns, the onions. This looks incredible. Kind of break off a piece. Oh, it's meaty on the inside. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. That is just as good as it looks. Mm. Oh yeah. So the crab is soft, but it's crispy on the outside. I can really taste the black pepper in there. Um, and then of course those green peppercorns increase the, the pepperiness of it. The sauce is a little bit sweet, um, but it's also salty at the same time. Mm. 
fantastic. Okay, that was a delicious meal. I am stuffed right now. I think my actually my favorite dish was the kana black ham, which is the, the kale Chinese broccoli stir fried up with the salty fish. That's just such a delicious way to cook vegetables. Also, that bowl of dong kong was also spectacular. And then also that, that um, soft shell crab. I love those green peppercorns. I'm a huge fan of those, as well as the kaffir lime leaves. And then of course the, the soft shell crab is never a bad thing either. Uh, that was a very satisfying meal. Uh, and I think what I really like about this restaurant is just the atmosphere. So we're in Bangkok, but it really actually feels like we're kind of in the countryside here. So it's a nice, relaxing, feasting environment.